They decide to keep Rob Polinka. Do you think, was it finally time for them to move on from Rob Polinka? Because I've heard the reason they haven't sacked him and they probably never will is because apparently he's very close with Jeannie Bus and it's like a, it's like impossible for him to be sacked at this point. Like it's like firing a family member, you know? If I was them, like I like you said, I understand that too. I heard that too. That's the one of the the main reasons he didn't get fired. But realistically, he has to look at like what he's been able to build in these past couple of years. Mm-hmm. Like I know, like because he didn't get Bron there, that was Magic Johnson. He didn't get Anthony Davis there, that was Magic Johnson. So when you really look at what has Rob Plinka done for the Los Angeles Lakers. Like, has the team gotten better under his his supervision? No. Yes, they won a championship, but all of those moves was made by Magic Johnson before he stepped out. This was mm-hmm. the team he built. And then if you look at after they won the championship, what did uh, Rob Palenka do to improve on this roster? He didn't do that. Like, yes, he did make smart moves. He realized, yes, all right, let's try out Malink Monk. That was a great move. You got him on a budget. You got Carmelo Anthony there, even though that was more so a LeBron James yeah. power move than it was a Rob Palenka move. But, all right, let's give you credit for You got Carmelo. You got Malik Buck. And then you traded for Russell Westbrook. This was probably one of the big moves from Rob Palenka. And you look at how that team literally went from a championship contender team yep. to a team who literally had three All-Stars on it yep. and didn't even make the playoffs. It's, it's also That's a LeBron. problem. It's also LeBron. They sort of got they gotta stop giving this dude executive decisions. Maybe <sighs> like I actually kind of feel bad for Rob Palenka sometimes because I heard there was a rumor he actually wanted Demar over Westbrook, but LeBron edged him to do the Westbrook move. Stop listening to him. You're the GM. The GM is not the GM. Stop listening to the guy. And there are so many better dudes you could have signed. One that comes to my head already. Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson signed for, like, the exact same money Lonnie Walker did. Kyle Anderson is a better interior dude. He's a way better three-point shooter. He might be the slowest guy nearly in the NBA, but he does every single thing better than Lonnie Walker, maybe than other than, like, perimeter days, right? Why? Why was Lonnie Walker... And who was offering Lonnie Walker more than $4 million to join their team? You know? Yeah. I just don't get it. Do the wasteland's 